Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lanessa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock here with Tessa today. And this is, who is this Tessa? Smokey. This is Smokey, that's right. So Smokey is a dapple boar goat and we were checking him out the other day and he has lice. Oh my goodness, lice. It's going to happen. Lice happens, mange happens, all these things happen. You're not a bad goat mom or a goat dad. Uh, it can come in from other animals. It can come in in bedding. And once it gets to be springtime where the daytime temperatures start getting up around 50 degrees or warmer, we worry that this is going to happen. So I start taking a look at my animals early. The best way to treat lice is before it becomes a problem. If you happen to notice your goats chewing on their legs or doing some scratching, you're gonna to wanna to go up and take a look at them. Now I already checked Smokey earlier, so I know he has just an itty bitty amount of lice. It actually took me a while to find it. Let me see if I can find a kid here. So there is one right there and he is a pretty sparse number that are actually in here when I look but he's getting enough that it's gonna turn into an issue soon if I don't take care of it now when we talk about lice they're not gonna pass it to your kids they're not gonna pass it on to your sheep because the lice that sheep and uh, goats get generally speaking is not transmissible uh, between one another but they will give it to each other so we always want you using as good a hygiene as you can, proper hand hygiene, and you obviously don't want to keep them up by your head or anything like that. But as far as catching the lice, I don't want you to lose too much sleep over it. But I will tell you this, if you see one animal with it, you need to start going through and checking all of them. Now here on Lanasa Farms, what I like to do is I just treat everybody. Once I start to see lice, I will treat everyone. I have a little bit of a different regimen that I treat the babies with than the way that I treat adults. I just want to talk to you about this really quick. So what I like to use, and not everybody uses the same thing I do, and that's okay, I'm not a veterinarian, work with your vet. This is what we use. I use Silence. Silence is a bear product. This is Cyfluthrin. It works really good. I like it. It's effective. I've been using it for about five years now. And you're gonna see how I apply it. I just apply it from the back of the neck to the tip of where the tail meets the body. And I'm just gonna apply it up against the skin along the spine. That's the way that I like to do it. I think of it like people apply flea and tick medication to their dogs, or at least the way that they used to. Now for the adolescents, for the babies that we haven't weaned yet, I'm gonna give them five milliliters of silence on the skin from the back of the neck to the tail. If this were an adult, I would do things a little bit differently. I would actually apply 10, and that would be for my Nigerian dwarfs all the way up through my boars. And I would probably also consider giving a, a IM injection at Dectomax. And let me see if I can find my Dectomax here. There it is. I would consider giving a injection of my Dectomax. Dectomax is generally given at a rate of one ml per 110 pounds of body weight. So what's the deal with the Dectomax? Well, what I've found specifically with a really bad infestation of lice or especially with mange, mange is a tough one to tackle. I find that a combination of the Dectamax along with the Silence works really well. So the Dectamax is going to get into the bloodstream. Any animals that are biting or sucking on that animal are going to die. The topical administration helps to take care of anything that's crawling on or around them and seems to help keep them from spraying it to others. I think the Dectamax injection, while it is super effective, is a little bit too heavy handed for the little ones. Again, if you have a really bad infection, you can, or infestation, excuse me, you can talk to your veterinarian, but from where I stand, I think the dose of silence is appropriate. If you're not down with giving an injection, I do understand you can do a seven day back-to-back uh, -back treatment of the silence. When I say that, I mean you could give it today and then in seven days do this protocol again. But again, babies, I like to use five mLs, and for the adults, I like to use 10 and the appropriate dose of Dectamax based off of the one mL per 110 pounds of body weight given as an IM injection. So with that being said, since this is a baby, what I'm going to do uh, today is I am going to treat him with the five milliliters of silence. Anytime you utilize the silence, I want you using gloves. Again, we don't want to drink this stuff. We don't want to get it in our eyes. We don't want to get it in our neighbor's eyes, anything like that. It, is a chemical and should be treated with respect. We have some friends. I know uh, Jamie, our friend, she likes to use Ultra Boss. Uh, we have a few other individuals that use different things. 
This is one of those unique bottles. If you're not familiar with it, uh, what you're gonna notice is as you squeeze this, it's gonna come up and into this little spigot here. So right now I got it filled up. I'm gonna get myself a five milliliter syringe. I like to work with the size syringe of the dose that I'm giving. No needle. I'm just gonna stick it in here and I am going to draw up how much I need. In this case, I need five mLs. I'm pretty close, I've got about five mLs. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tip right here and I'm going to get it up against his skin. He has a nice double coat, look at that. Look at that white underneath there. I'm gonna get it up against the skin and I'm just gonna slowly administer it along his back. And it's just tickling him because I'm rubbing this along his spine. I'm not pushing down super hard, but I wanna get it up against that skin. If your kids are cuddlers, we're gonna want you to give them a couple days before you let the kids start cuddling them again. And just nice and slow, easy does it. We're just gonna apply this as we go back here, all the way down to the tail. Then if you got a little bit extra, you can start over. We just wanna evenly disperse this as much as possible. I know, buddy. And that's it. That is in there, it's up against the skin. We are good to go. I will check him again in about seven days, but after seven days, you won't see much of anything at all. Usually a single dose will work. Now, if you have an animal that is just crawling with lice, we wouldn't up the dose. The, the dose of five mLs is more than sufficient, and I would wanna retreat them probably in seven days. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you have any tips or tricks that might help people out, maybe something that you do differently, be sure to let us know. You can also check us out at Lenessa Farms Tack Box, which is our group on Facebook. I'm Tim from Lenessa Farms Specialty and Heirloom Livestock with Tessa and Smokey, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.